Hi everyone, it's good to see you again. Today's uh, segment is going to be shared by uh, Father Grismer on living well in exile during the Easter season. God bless all of you. Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to How to Live Well in Exile. Now we're focusing on how to live well in exile during Easter. Because frankly, Easter isn't a time of exile, but we're finding ourselves in sort of that situation. Why is this happening to me? In the past weeks, we talked about how to find God in the midst of exile. So now what we're talking about is how to find God. Why can't I find you? In exile, when he's resurrected, and we still feel like it's Lent. In past weeks, we talked about having a new normal. Looks like weird is a new normal, buddy. That we have to find God in different ways and allow him to encounter us in new ways, but what does that mean? If you've been to the store in recent weeks, you notice that people are wearing a lot of new things. They wear masks, different types of masks. Hello! Some are homemade. Some are surgical masks. Some are fancier. Some do a better job than others. This isn't a mask. So I was at the store the other day and I was wearing a mask and I wanted to, to show the person behind the counter that I was invested. That is, I, I actually liked the fact that they were assisting me. And you know, when we as humans do that, it's easy enough for us to give a, a little smile to show we're thankful for that other person. But as I came up to the counter, I realized they can't see my smile. And I couldn't see if they smiled back. So then I started praying and I was asking the Lord, like, well, Lord, what are we, how are we going to do this? How do we show them a human interaction rather than it merely becoming like robotic? Like, thank you for your transaction. Thank you for helping me. I can't see your face and therefore I don't have to look at things. Yeah. I'll drop you to a panemata. Right? Like, no, we, we are still human beings and we desire, we yearn for human interaction. So I, had, I was asking the Lord, well, Lord, what are we going to do? And he said, we have to find new ways to be kind. And so in that moment, I chose to, to learn a new way. I looked at the person's name tag and I said, so-and-so, thank you for helping me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, and, and even later at the checkout, I had to do the same thing. I had to, to say thank you. Thank you. And I said the person's name, why? Because it's human. It's human to say a name and there's power in a name. And when we look at the, the this time of resurrection, it wasn't all really, really delightful. The apostles had to get used to a new normal. So what happened is Jesus rose from the tomb. And when Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb early in the morning and she doesn't find Jesus there. In fact, she walks out of the tomb and somebody says, woman, who are you looking for? And she thinks it's the gardener. And she says, sir, if you have taken him and placed him somewhere else, just tell me so that I can go to my Lord. And what does Jesus say? Mary. Who? there is power in a name. Say my name, say my name. And it says at that moment, she realized it was the Lord and she said, Rabboni, Rabboni, which means teacher. And she clung to him. Listen to the words of scripture. Jesus says to her, stop holding on to me for I have not yet ascended to my father and your father, but go tell my brothers, etc., etc. Go tell my brothers that I've risen from the dead. But that moment where she clings to him and he says, stop holding on to me. We have a tendency and we've spoken about this to hold on to the past. And even in a church way, we sometimes think, well, I just can't wait till things go back to the way they were. But we have to be willing to allow Christ to meet us in a new way in this season. Because things will happen and things will go back to normal as they were. But he has the opportunity right now. To encounter you. Why? Because he did not go back to normal for the apostles. What happened? Mary Magdalene clung to him just as she would have done in the past. She clung to him and he said, Stop holding on to me. This isn't the way it this is the way it used to be, but it's no longer the way it is because now I send you out. Mary Magdalene is known as the one who converted the entire country of France. Wow. Because after this moment of encounter with Jesus, after Pentecost, she went out. She went up into France and she started speaking and converting people there. Look, when we are, when we are so used to the old way, we cling to it. And we cling to Christ in that way. And he's saying, stop holding on to me in that way. I've resurrected. There's something different happening. Everything has changed. 
Now, I don't ask you to stay and hunker down. I'm sending you out. So how is he doing this? Well, on social media, there's that beautiful phrase that's saying, the church isn't empty. The church has been deployed, right? That we are literally sent out by Christ, as he does with Mary Magdalene, that we go and we encounter people in new ways. New and improved. And I don't mean new ways like just being creative. I'm talking about how does God want to encounter them? We can't invite them to church, but what can we do? We can be intentional about loving them. We can be intentional about speaking with them. When I don't want to have a conversation with my brother or sister because I'd rather play on my PS4 or my Xbox or my computer. <laughs> Or, or when I don't want to talk to my mom or dad because I would rather be watching television. Arnold Schwarzenegger is. This is precious time that we get to encounter God in a new way. And how, what's one way that we encounter God is we encounter him in others. Or maybe we spend more time in prayer. But I don't want to do that because I would much rather scroll through my social media or go on TikTok or make TikToks, right? I, I don't want to do these other things because I want to distract myself from being uncomfortable. Hey. I need you to cause a distraction. We are not used to encountering people in new ways. When I was wearing the mask and I couldn't see whether or not she smiled and whether or not she could see I could, I was smiling, I had to come up with a new way of, of loving her or being intentional about speaking to her. We can't just cling to the old ways because he's resurrected. So I encourage you to grab a friend, grab a family member and talk about it. And we'll see you next week. I think I'll, I'm safe. It's been so hard. Luckily, I just comfort myself with ice cream every night. Really cold. <laughs> no one knows where I keep my secret ice cream. What are you doing, father? Busted. We've got enough bloopers. See ya. <laughs>